the unmet need for patients with pancreatic cancer is so high. Lung cancer, melanoma, kidney cancer, breast cancer. In my lifetime, the improvements have been remarkable. We can't say that yet for pancreatic cancer, but I think we're ripe. We've celebrated that the five-year survival rate is 13%, but we've got a long way to go. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Birkenblit, Chief Scientific and Medical Officer of PanCan. I'm a medical oncologist, and I've been devoting my entire professional career to helping patients with cancer, and there are so many different ways to do that. I started out doing medical oncology, specifically training in an institution that had an inpatient palliative care unit, because that's really important as part of many cancer patients' journeys, unfortunately. And then I got involved in phase one clinical trials. After having taken care of patients for several years in practice, I realized that I wanted to help patients more by developing novel therapies. And that would be a way for me to touch thousands of patients' lives. One of my values is I've always wanted to be of use, and I can't imagine a more gratifying career than a career in oncology. To be able to be one of the folks who decides how to develop cancer drugs can be incredibly meaningful personally and can really move the needle for patients. PanCan has done a wonderful job over the last 25 years building advocacy in the community for pancreatic cancer, building advocacy for funding of pancreatic cancer, and now I'm really excited to join PanCan at this inflection point to the next phase of its growth. Everyone who works at PanCan is here for a reason. Everyone has their own personal story, and that makes the mission so clear. We all know why we're here, and we all know what we want to do to help patients. That's incredibly motivating.